Hey guys, what's up? We are That Horror Couple. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Rob. And we are here to do another cool review for you guys today, Orphan First Kill. Oh, talk about a film that I thought, like, you know, I was excited to check it out. Yeah. But, like, I was like, it's a prequel, so I kind of, like, I wasn't expecting... Expecting much, yeah. I thought I had the story all mapped out. Yeah. But fucking the fucking twist... I know. Left my nuts all twisted up. Same. I mean... <laughs> you, you don't have nuts. I know. Sorry. But, uh... Did, 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 was it a titty twister? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this will leave your nuts and titties twisted. Orchestrating a brilliant escape from an Estonian psychiatric facility, Esther travels to America by impersonating the missing daughter of a wealthy family. Directed by William Brent Bell, starring Isabel Furman, Julia Stiles, and Rossip Sutherland. To kick off our likes of the film, I have to say I loved Isabel Furman as Esther. Um, she was amazing. She was a child when she was in the first, uh, the first orphan years ago, and now she's 23. And they brought her back, and she did an amazing job. Like, yeah. talk about a task they had ahead of them to pull that oh, yeah. off, too. Yeah. I mean, that is like a challenge and a half. Yeah. And uh, the more research you do on this, the more you read about it, the more you look into it. Mm -hmm. Like. The, the length they went as far as like everybody the, the actors were, were up on stepping stools i heard uh, on still uh, yeah, yeah like they or, wore like higher shoes or whatever to be like taller yeah yeah and, mm -hmm. and most of it was practical but i don't think they did that cgi crap with the no DA. i think most of it was practical yeah. effects which is really cool so of course when you put it side by side you could say like oh well the actors did it but of course she did but it was still believable yeah, to me I was yeah of like, course i was like right there with them when they were trying to convince us that she's you know, she has an 11 year old's body, but she's actually 33. I was right there. Like, they really convinced me of that. Yeah, she was taping her titties down and everything. I saw that, they, yeah. <laughs> definitely thought the uh, the way they kicked off this movie was pretty cool. How mm -hmm. they, they showed the origins of uh, how Esther did break out of the mental institution. Yes. Fucking mm -hmm. uh, cuckoo's nest style. Like, uh, but instead of like throwing that water thing through the wall, she's like bashing heads <laughs> through the wall and shit. And, that was really cool. You know what that scene kind of reminded me of? How she got the guy to come in. It reminded me of the Black Xmas remake when the guard comes in and the guy just kills him or whatever. I could see that. Yeah, yeah. That. That's what it reminded me of. I thought that was cool. <laughs> well, the director that did this film also did The Boy. Yes. He did, mm -hmm. uh... he did The Boy too, which I haven't seen that. I liked the first one because it was obviously Lauren Cohan. I had to see it. I mean, it's Maggie. Come on. <laughs> From the walk. Yeah, it was Maggie, so I had to see it. I liked it, but I never rewatched it. So it's just one of those movies, you know. Kills in the movie were definitely awesome, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, very gory, very intense. Um, yeah, from, there's a lot of like blood. <laughs> from the mo not not the most intense, but it was gory enough where it was definitely cool. Yeah, and uh, f yeah, like I said, from the moment she escaped the mental institution, mm -hmm. this movie doesn't waste time fucking around. No, it doesn't. It's like it goes from ninety to nothing, and it doesn't stop. Like it just. Every scene like adds to the plot, adds to the storyline, and then when we get to that huge twist, which spoiler alert, this is a spoiler review. Spoilers ahead. Yes. Um, the Wait, but the spoiler has to be under the like section. Yes. Because it's definitely what I dug about this film. Yes, sure. we love the the, st the twist of the film where we find out that Julia Stiles, uh, the mother, she um, actually helped cover up the murder of her of the real Esther because mm -hmm. her son accidentally killed his sister. And she covered it up. So she knew all along that this wasn't the real Esther. So, yeah. So we see Esther breaking out. She fake, she she poses as a missing kid mm -hmm. to get taken back home to her family. Yeah. But the family she, like, randomly selected was a psychopath family. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, dude, talk about a twist. That holy, was really holy good. Holy shit. When yeah. You're like, oh, Esther's the psycho. But, yeah, it's like psycho meets psycho, bitch. Yes. I love that. It's like, yeah, y'all. I love that. That was such an awesome scene where we get to see Jul Julie Stiles' character telling Esther, like, listen, I know you're not my daughter, so who the F are you? You know, Yeah, that basically. was a, yeah, especially for a prequel. I don't know. Yeah. Remember, like, dude, I can't remember a prequel that had me being like, what the fuck? Yeah, like a horror like, prequel, yeah. For sure, for sure. Like, I, like usually with a prequel, you could piece together what's going to happen. Because mm -hmm. you know how it ends. Yeah. You this know what one, I, mean? I had no idea. Like, with every yeah. prequel, you know, you, know, you know how it's going to end. But yeah. I felt like this was a total, like... Came out of left field, to but it was very refreshing. It tasted, awesome. it tasted yeah. the twitty. Yeah. yeah it tasted the twitty. <laughs> it, 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 the, it twisted the titty. There you go. <laughs> it was a titty twist. I also really liked how the brother, um, he was really good at playing like a sociopath, um, just like 
the Julia Stiles character um, was. Like, I really liked that. Because they were off, like, from the second you meet the yeah, family. Yeah. Besides the father, the, the son and the mother were just off. They're very cold. Yeah, there was something, like, before the twist was revealed, you're like, something weird is going on. It was on. weird, because like, like, they were so, like distant from Esther and like you're thinking if this was really her missing child this is really his missing sister wouldn't they be embracing her loving her excited yeah. she's home but they're just like hey kind of what's up kind of well, they, they, they brought her back to make the dad happy yeah so, so. yeah that but makes I, sense I did like the interaction between the dad and, and the Esther though mm -hmm. it, it, like, it seemed like he really loved his like daughter like the painting yeah. scene like little things like that but yeah. uh, I feel like Julia Stiles is awesome she like, is if, I love her yeah she grew up in the 90s she was in a lot of cool shit I love 10 Things I Hate About You yeah, the, um, the Save the Last Dance the old remake movie. Yes, the Omen remake so, is awesome from 2006. She's definitely also <laughs> with, like, creepy kid movies for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, yeah, yeah. It, and it, I just love the interaction of them where it's like one fucked up person meets another fucked up person. And that has and, you rooting for Esther. Yeah, in a yeah. weird way, you're mm -hmm. like, okay, you're like, Esther's crazy, but you're like... This woman's worse because she helped, you know, cover up the murder of her own daughter. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it's kind of like Jason. Yeah. You're like, Jason's the killer, but we want to see him fuck shit up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or, so, or something like that, right? Yeah, it's so like, we're, we're Team Esther all the way, Well, Sorry. we put on the orphan <laughs> to see Esther. So yeah. So we're, we're like, we're definitely Team Esther. Team Esther, even though she's <laughs> fucking crazy. As far as dislikes of the film, um, we really enjoyed this film there wasn't like a whole lot we disliked but one thing that really kind of didn't sit well with us was the abrupt ending of the film i felt like it, I it ended like, so fast the film picked up big in the beginning when she was escaping the mental institution mm -hmm. then it was kind of like slow mm -hmm. and then it kind of just went like boom 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 credits yeah like you know so yeah that's how it felt which like, i thought was cool because i wasn't expecting that so yeah. i was like oh snap oh snap oh snap but yeah but like the father went to say like went to help uh the mother and esther and it was like, we thought that he was going to, you know, grab Esther and then that's how the mother would die. But the mother just fell without even any, like, it, it was, she just fell. She let go of the roof and fell and died. I was like, okay. Like, I wanted, I wanted him to find out that she was crazy, like the mother and his son. I wanted the father to, to you know, that to be a whole scene dedicated to that. I thought that would have been great. But we got robbed of that scene. But other than that, you know, I really enjoyed the film. Just like, I thought the kills were cool. They were gory. But I thought maybe they could have been more creative in a way. Yeah. They were just very standard. Yeah, like, the uh, first one was really creative with the kills and very had a lot of uncomfortable scenes. But yeah. That that mouse in the glass made me puke almost. That, oh, that, oh, okay. That's a dislike. You just made me almost want to throw up. You reminded me of that. I never want to see that scene again. Um, that was horrible. And I was so invested in the film that it felt like I was the one drinking out of the glass. Yeah. So... Yeah, that scene is a no-go for me. No, thank you. What are your as, final thoughts? As far as final thoughts of the film, I would have to give this film a 6.5 out of 10. I thought it was a very solid prequel. It was very well done. It's just, it's not a movie, I'm going to be honest with you, it's not a film I'm going to go back and rewatch. It's just not. Um... You're but, gonna you're gonna abandon an orphan. I, no, I'm just not gonna that watch it again. Really low, I watched it. I wanted to see what they it was about. They don't have parents. Yeah. <laughs> She's thirty. Like supposed to be thirty three. Raw. Still, so. <laughs> that's cold hearted, man. Yeah. <laughs> not going to go back for the orphan. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I give it a six point five out of ten. What about you? I'll g I'll give it a seven. Cause seven. The, the okay. Twist. Okay. The twist. Okay. I feel like. Uh, they pulled off the fact that this actress aged. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that they they stuck with the same actress. They yeah. didn't get some like a stand in, so yeah. they kept it true to the original orphan. True. Um, I liked the cast. Mm -hmm. I felt like Judah Styles played an awesome. She was great. Yeah. Like like fucking sociopathic uh, mother. Yeah, like, yeah. A, like a crazy mother, Mrs. Voorhees, or yeah. like uh, fucking you know Norman Bates. Uh, Norma Bates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like mm -hmm. she played a great psycho mother. Uh, I like the whole cast. I like the father. The, 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 the douchebag brother. Yeah, he was great. I, he was a good I, sociopath. I like the whole thing. I like the whole idea of it. And yeah. How many prequels could we say actually got us being like, what the fuck? Like, not many. Yeah. Dude, there's not many prequels out there that... that, that Don't make you, like, that surprise you like that. Dude, yeah, true. I, I can't really think of any off the top of my head, but maybe there are a few. But, like, mm -hmm. this is definitely original. I think it's a solid, it's a solid, like, it's a solid orphan installment. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think it's it's a seven. Okay, it's seven? a seven for okay. me. I say check it out. Yeah, it's playing in select theaters and it's yeah. on uh, video on demand. And, I say uh, check it out video on demand at home. It's that kind of movie. That that's my honest opinion. I say check it out at home. You just want to watch it like in your underwear with your. I prefer to stay at home and watch movies anyway. Like going to the movies is kind of like a chore to be honest to me. It is. I don't like the people. I don't like having to sit next to people. I don't you like, like those blue ices. I like those, but. And you're <laughs> And your cookie dough bites. Those are good, but I just don't really like going to the movies.
He's like, I, I like, I love the screen and how big it is and everything, but I don't know, just the people. I just. Yeah, so Orphan First Kill. Yes. We're getting uh, the topic here. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, uh, check it out if you have Paramount Plus. It's streaming for free on there. I think Paramount Plus is only like $5 a month. So definitely check it out. Um, comment down below. Let us know what you thought of, of the film, if you've seen it. If you haven't, definitely check it out. Like this video. Hit the bell. Subscribe to our channel for more awesome horror content and interviews. What a twist. Yes. I can't get over it. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> it's <laughs> wild. There you go. Once again, I'm Kaylee. It's, it's twisted. And I'm Rob. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Take care. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and tell your friends and... Share our videos. Yeah, do all that. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't make us orphans. Yeah. We need you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>